Good morning. Welcome to my morning routine as a new mom. I'm so excited. One, to be a new mom and two, to feel like I can start having a routine. I am currently um, seven weeks postpartum and I feel like for a while we've just been doing like whatever we can to get through the day and I'm really happy that I can actually have some sort of routine and normalcy and know what to do when I wake up. So um, every morning's a little bit different because I have a seven week old baby so I still have to go like on her time schedule obviously but this is my routine as a new mom of a seven week old. ready for the day with skincare and everything and change clothes this is when I would typically feed my daughter but I already fed her earlier this morning before I got out of bed so I'm just going to continue with what I normally do after I feed her which is basically a list of tidying and cleaning and getting like the house ready for the rest of the day. around the house at night and then throw it in the wash get it ready and my um, sorry my washing machine has a delay start mode so I can like go ahead and set it put the detergent and everything in and then delay it for up to nine hours that's typically what I do every night and that way um, like I'll delay it until 7 or 8 a.m. to like start running and that way by the time that I get up my load of laundry is already washed for the day so all I really have to do in the mornings is switch it over to the dryer and then come back and then come back in about an hour and start folding it which is really nice so like I said at night is when I gather up all the laundry and throw it in there so that's why I didn't pick up my laundry this I mean I did pick it up to put it in the laundry but that's why I didn't like bring laundry in here in the morning because I just wait and do it at night so that's my laundry routine. So I'll just turn it on and we're already halfway done with laundry for the day. because um, it's one of my favorite things to do, honestly. And because um, she, she woke up like right after I was um, done with the dishes and stuff. And so I just fed her really quick and then now I'm just wearing her so that I can get a few more things done since it's her time to nap anyways. Put this back. So I'm just making some quick breakfast and then I'm going to finish up my coffee. Put some ice in it because I let it sit in the free in the freezer and then in the fridge. Um, so now it's extra cold because I only really enjoy iced coffee. Part of the fun of being a new mom is learning how 
to multitask, which thankfully I was already like really good at multitasking because honestly just I just do a lot and I have a lot to do. So I've always like been a multitasker. Like I said, being a new mom will um it will get you even better at it. So if you're not a multitasker, you probably will become one. And if you are already a multitasker, you'll become a better one, which is which is um good. Sometimes it's overwhelming, but most of the time it's good. So I rarely ever like sit and eat breakfast anymore. As you can see, it's like starting to be eaten over here because most of the time I literally just like take it with me where like if I'm feeding her, I'll eat um, while I'm feeding her. Or most of the time if I'm like doing a task like this, I'll just like kind of slowly pick at it because I just don't really have time to like sit and eat breakfast. I'd rather like sit and eat, like sit and enjoy like a different meal of the day. Like I'd rather sit down and enjoy dinner. I don't really care to sit down and enjoy breakfast because I'm less productive in the morning. So yes, it's very, it's very um humbling becoming a new mom, like seeing what you really can't do anymore that you probably once thought you could. And it's very challenging, but it's kind of very rewarding to see like how much you can actually get done while baby wearing or while your baby's napping or just while you have like a con they're like playing somewhere and you have a moment where they're content kind of thing. So all in all, like I said, you'll be a multitasker when you're a mom for sure. If you're not already, it's fun being able to do all of this kind of stuff. Like while she naps that way, when she's awake, I can actually like sit and be with her and enjoy being with her and not feel like I have to do a hundred tasks while she's awake. If that makes sense. So, I'm just going to keep eating my breakfast. Just restocked my diaper bag for the day for diapers and wipes. And now I'm going to throw the extra wipes and diapers um, in her nursery because we're running a little bit low there. And I'm really sad because I'm pretty sure this is the last, like I have newborn diapers all around the house, but I'm pretty sure like once I finish off the newborn diapers, she's going to be in size one diapers because I've already moved her up to zero to three month clothes. And she's seven weeks and I know that's probably normal to like not be in newborn clothes anymore but honestly it just makes my mama heart really sad that she's already like getting so big so quickly so I'm going to finish up restocking around the house I've got a few extra diapers to throw somewhere and then I will finish up my breakfast and I think it's time to fold laundry and start doing my makeup and hair for the day while she is all content and sleeping I'm going to do my hair and makeup um, one thing I've learned as a as a new mom, obviously, is when they are content, when they when the baby is sleeping, just to choose what's the biggest priority or what you really want to get done or what's really like almost impossible to do while they're awake, kind of thing. Like you have to do it while they're asleep, and don't worry about the rest. If she wakes up before I finish, at least I got halfway done, and I can finish it like slowly as she wakes up. But I'm choosing to like get ready for the day instead of doing laundry because I do have to go somewhere this afternoon and I really just I don't want her to wake up and all I've done is fold the laundry and I still have to get ready and take care of her at the same time. That time to do what your highest priority is to so pick what you really want to get done which you like know you have to do at some point today regardless of how the day goes. There's extra time I'll do the laundry but we're going to prioritize what I know I have to get done and what's going to make today a lot better which is getting ready and feeling ready. with my hair and makeup for the day all that's left to do really is to get dressed but I would have to wake her up to get her out of this and I just not willing to do that since I'm going to be leaving today anyways I try to like wait until the very last minute for her to like get out of this carrier if it's not going to be time for her to feed until like I get somewhere that way I can just put her in the car seat and go and feed her when I get there um because where I'm going is like pretty close um it's just right down the road so I'm going to fold Okay, I 
I've put away all the laundry, I actually got to do that, which I did not expect to be able to do. So now all that's left is to just get ready, get her dressed and in her car seat and then head out to my sister's. So that is the end of my morning routine as a new mom. And I am honestly, like I said, loving finally being able to feel like I'm in a routine, especially like a routine that get some of the work done, but it doesn't overwhelm me. I'm not like worn out by the time that I'm done with my morning act. I just want this to be an encouragement to everyone out there, especially to moms and new moms, that you don't have to get everything done. You, you can say no to things. You don't have to do all of your house chores in one morning. Like today, basically my morning consisted of eating breakfast, making coffee. I switched over a load of laundry and then I was able to actually like fold one load of laundry and get ready for the day. So it's not like I spent my entire morning working super hard, getting everything done, being super productive. I just spend it doing things that, some things I know I need to get done and some things that I just enjoy being able to do in the morning. So let this be an encouragement that you don't have to get everything done in the morning or in any part of the day and to just slow down and enjoy time being with your baby. Like today, this morning, I probably spent well over an hour just like, snuggling her cuddling her before I even got out of bed this morning and then of course I like fed her even after that it's not like I got up at like the crack of dawn and you know busted my butt to do everything I took it slow I started off the morning with her just spending time with her so let this be an encouragement to you guys and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and have a great day okay bye